good. How are you? Obviously, they've got an important vote uh, for the Postal Service and uh, uh, wanted to take a message to uh, as many members as I could uh, directly meet with that the president's committed to making sure that our postal workers have the assets and the financial resources necessary to, to make sure that we have on-time deliveries, but more importantly, uh, that if we really want to solve this problem since they're here for a Saturday vote, uh, I would uh, encourage uh, a targeted bill that may include postal, but hopefully some support for uh, uh, small businesses, uh, maybe uh, uh, augmenting some of the enhanced unemployment issues. Some of the things that we can agree upon as Democrats and Republicans. There's been a lot of uh, conflation of the issues. Uh, as you know, I've worked on the postal issue with a, a number of uh, uh, stakeholders for many, many years. Uh, I've had phone calls with uh, a few of the head of uh, uh, a couple of phone calls with with union heads uh, to make sure that they understand that the president's not only willing to help uh, but wants to help. And uh, and uh, what makes everything a political issue is the fact that we're 70 plus days out from a November 3rd election. And so uh, to suggest that. Uh, good policy has to be abandoned uh, is not something that I would sub subscribe to, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, to get some kind of resolution. This bill on the floor today uh, is more of a partisan bill than it is a real attempt at solving the problem, but hopefully it's the start to solving it. Yeah, I think I think we all know that voting is a privilege, and uh, and yet we also know that there are a number of. Uh, of people that would would seek uh, to to make sure that they could uh, make a November third election chaos, um, uh, and so it's important that we support everybody's right.